What's happening, Dan? Well, let me start with these comments with uh, the NBA executive saying he's killed their chemistry and also with the comments of if you can't deal with these distractions, then you shouldn't be in Los Angeles. Well, I think with the chemistry question, and I've heard this from from various people uh, over the last, you know, really since the Anthony Davis trade demand became public, it, it's not hard. In fact, it's almost expected for some of the young players in that locker room who came into the season believing that, you know, LeBron wanted to kind of grow with them, to build a winner with them. All of a sudden, you have LeBron say, I'd love to play with Anthony Davis. You have Anthony Davis, who is represented by LeBron's agent, trying to orchestrate a deal to the Lakers, and you have the Lakers' trade offers becoming very public. It's not hard for them to to, to look at this and say, well, he doesn't want us here, and uh, they have that adversely affect the chemistry within that locker room. So it's not like LeBron's going in there and saying, you know, you guys are all terrible, but if you connect the dots a little bit, it's easy to see how – the players can feel like he doesn't fully believe in them. Yeah, and I could understand there's a little bit of unrest in there, and there is a lack of chemistry there. If I know that that guy wanted me traded, now I know I got to be a professional, but that guy was going to trade me once Anthony Davis in here. If I'm Luke Walton, I know that my days are numbered as well. This is because LeBron brought this attention and distraction to Los Angeles. Nobody else did. He did it. And I think that, you know, take ownership of that. Take blame of that. And this is when I want a great player to be great. You don't lose to Memphis. You're not losing to New Orleans without Anthony Davis. Uh, you know, this this is more alarming than it than it should be at this time of the year. Yeah, I, and look, the, the Memphis game in particular, LeBron needs to take ownership in. I mean, he put up a very kind of West rookie in line there was eight for 23 from the floor. Um, you know, just was inefficient all the way around. His defense hasn't been good all season long. And this, the schedule, Dan, as you know, not good for the Lakers coming down the stretch here. These are the games they have to win to give themselves even a puncher's chance of getting back into the playoff mix. Uh, without those wins, I think it's going to be a hard, uh, hard hill for them to climb. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.